Show. Ah, toys. What would the good people of Dillydale do without them? Whether it's tossing a yo-yo or playing cowboy on a new space hopper, the Mr. Men and Little Misses make time every day to have some fun with their toys. It's their love of these playthings that inspires Miss Whoops to invent new toys every day. I'm Mr. Bump, here at Miss Whoops' Toy Factory. Many of you will know that Miss Whoops was named Toy Inventor of the Year. What can I say? I have a knack for making toys. So I've heard. Maybe you can show us some of the toys you've invented. Of course. I call this one Hold Me Hippo. And my can he snuggle? Watch. Oh, how lovable. Why don't you get a hug for yourself, Mr. Bump? Hmm. Ah! Isn't he sweet? There's nothing better than a toy that hugs back. I think he likes you a little too much, Mr. Bump. I'll say. What else do you have, Miss Whoops? This is my remote-controlled helicopter. Yes. Now that's my kind of toy. Mine too. With this joystick, you can make the helicopter do just about anything. Whoops. Uh, Miss Whoops. Oh. These joysticks can be so flimsy. Oh, oh dear! I wanted to show you how it shoots water. Ow. Fixed it. Uh, what other toys do you have, Miss Whoops? The best one yet. I call it the wrestling robot. Oh great! So, what does the wrestling robot do? It wrestles, silly. Watch. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Wait! You can't go without giving it a try. Actually, I'm not a very good wrestler. Ah! 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 Stop him! Ow! Ah! You're right, Mr. Bump. You're a terrible wrestler. This is Mr. Bump signing off from the Dillydale Toy Factory. Ah! Celebrating the best in toys. For some Mr. Men and Little Misses, working at the toy shop is a dream come true. But for others, it's the beginning of a long nightmare. The job's simple, Mr. Nervous. All you have to do is take the toys out of this box and put them on the shelf. You think you can handle that? Oh, sounds terrifying, but I'll do my best. If you need me, I'll be in my office, avoiding cheerful customers. Oh, no! Dastardly dinosaurs! <laughs> oh, go away, horrible beastie. It's far too early to eat lunch. <laughs> No, no, you don't want to eat me. I'm much too chewy. What are you doing up there? I was trying to outrun that carnivorous creature. Tell you what, why don't you go over to oil seven and unpack those boxes? Gladly. There's too much terror lugging in this aisle. This must be the box I'm supposed to unpack. Oh, thank God. 
goodness, a trusty steed. <gasps> oh, no! A medieval menace is among us! Ah! Ah! No, 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 Whenever you're frightened and terror is near, sing this little song and sing away your fear. For Noodle's sake, Nervous! You are too big for that toy! Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Grumpy. I was being pursued by the evil knight. Hmm. <laughs> oh, fine. How about you go over to oil 10? Not oil 10. What's wrong with oil 10? Oh, I don't know. It just sounds terrifying. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a box of cuddly toys. Cuddly? Maybe it isn't so bad after all. Oh, no! Cuddly aliens! <laughs> What do I do? Where do I go? Mr. Nervous to ground control. An alien spaceship is approaching, preparing to take me to their evil alien laboratory. <laughs> oh, this is the end of a distinguished space career. <laughs> ah, aliens everywhere you look. No, 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 no. Oh, crooked cucumbers! Get back here, Mr. Nervous! It's toy night over at Mr. Fussy's house. A night when he invites friends round to share in a little fun. Thanks for inviting us over to play with your toys, Mr. Fussy. It's my pleasure, Mr. Messy. This isn't toast night? No. Too bad. Sorry, pal. Maybe some other time. Hey, what are we going to play with tonight? I thought you'd never ask, Mr. Tickle. Tonight, we are playing with my new ticking tomato. I love tomatoes. Good thing I brought the spaghetti. This tomato will not be served atop spaghetti. It's a toy! Here's how it works. We throw the tomato to one another until the alarm sounds and lights flash like this. Oh, pretty. And whomever is holding the tomato when the lights go off is out of the game. Shazam! That's harsh. That's the rules, Mr. Messy. Now, shall we play? Shouldn't we have a warm-up tickle first? Absolutely <laughs> not. Let us begin. <gasps> Stop the game! What has happened to my tomato? What tomato? The one we were just throwing to one another. We were throwing a tomato? Yes. Well, then why are you holding my bowling ball? An excellent question. As is, where is my ticking tomato? Found it! <laughs> You're out, Mr. Scatterbrain. Out where? Out of the game. Okay. <laughs> now it's just the three of us. I think somebody needs a tickle. No, what somebody needs is to pay attention to the tomato. I know a tomato who needs a tickle. You're out, Mr. Tickle. But I really want to give a tickle. Maybe later. Right now, Mr. Messy and I must play to see who wins. Oh! Oh! No! no. Mr. Messy, look what you've done to my ticking tomato. Jelly, mud, mustard. That's not mustard. It's hummus. Whatever it is, it's stuck to my hands and I can't get it off. I win! Yay! Stop. That's it. Toy night is over. Time for you all to go home. Can we play with another toy? And make it disgustingly filthy? I think not. You know what I think? You need a tickle! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in <laughs> Stop that. What do we play with now? How about we do a little bowling? Now that's what I'm talking about!
And so, another day of playing with their toys has come to an end. It's time for the Mr. Men and Little Misses to put their toys away until the next time they want to play. Ah, reptiles. Snakes, lizards and tortoises may be cold-blooded creatures, but they warm the hearts of the Mr. Men and Little Misses. Though some may fear reptiles, there really is no reason to treat them with anything but respect. Of course, one should always be careful, especially if you're Mr. Bump and you've been invited on Mr. Stubborn's Swamp Tour. I've always wanted to take Mr. Stubborn's Swamp Tour. I think swamps are fascinating, don't you, Mr. Bump? There's all that mud and slime and lily pads. Uh, I don't know, Miss Chatterbox. Alligators live in swamps. Isn't that right, Mr. Stubborn? There are no alligators in this swamp. This swamp is so safe, a kitten could live here. <laughs> I don't see how cats could live in water. Have you ever tried to give a cat a bath? I have. I was like, Kitty, I'm just trying to get you clean. And the cat was like, yeah! <laughs> what a disaster. It's now time for the special feature of my swamp tour. Swamp tubing. If it's all the same to you, Mr Stubborn, I'd prefer to avoid any alligators. I told you, there are no alligators in this swamp. Just jump in and swim to that tube, Mr Bump. I do not have all day. Give it a try, Mr Bump. I'm sure Mr Stubborn knows this swamp better than anyone else. If there were alligators here, he would know. Uh, OK. <laughs> Miss Chatterbox, watch and tell me when Mr Bump is on the tube and ready to go. No problem, we will do. Enough talk. Let's go. <laughs> hey, this is kind of fun. Wait right there, Mr Bump. Let me take a picture. Look at me, Swamp King. Ah! Alligator! What is wrong with my camera? This always happens whenever I really, really, really want to take a picture. No! Ah! Get away! Get away! It just won't turn on! Oh, here it goes. That's enough tubing for today. No! Don't stop! Alligator! Speed up! Speed up, Mr. Bolter! Ah. <laughs> but there's me, Mr. Stubborn. There are alligators here. One's chasing Mr. Bump right now. Well, they look so different from the ones on TV, don't they? Miss Chatterbox, you are starting to annoy me. There are no alligators in this swamp. <laughs> Mr. Bump, what did you do with my tube? Ask him. Oh, say cheese, Mr. Bump. No. Oh, look, there are more alligators eating the boat. Mayday, mayday. In other words, help! Those are not alligators. They are just ducks with long, pointy beaks. Shoo, ducks! Shoo! <laughs> um, we're sinking. Why must you always be so negative? Oh, poopity poop. Wow, I had no idea this swamp tour was going to be so exciting. I mean, I knew swamps were fascinating, but who knew that we'd get to see so much? Honestly, this is swamp the swamp <laughs> Welcome to the show. I'm Mr. Nervous, your host, and today we're in search of a spotted honking turtle. 
Joining me are my guests, Mr. Happy and Mr. Tickle. Thank you for inviting me along on this wonderful expedition. Yes, I've never tickled a turtle before. No, oh, you might not want to get too close, Mr. Tickle. The spotted honking turtle can be quite terrifying. As if its spots aren't frightening enough, its powerful honk can scare away even the bravest of men. In fact, why don't you all go on without me? I'll just wait here. Maybe you just need a tickle, Mr. Nervous. No, 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 no. <laughs> OK, OK, fine. We'll carry on. This way. The spotted honking turtle makes its home here on the riverbank. Ah, there it is. Show's over. Time to go. Oh, please, Mr. Happy, you don't want to make her angry. Are these turtle eggs? Eggs, yes. Luckily, none of them have hatched, launching their honking menace across these muddy banks. Maybe they just need a tickle. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh! Oh, oh, Mr. Happy, stay away from it. They're tricky little fellows. Ouch! Who knew baby honking turtles had such a grip? We should all run now. Let me help, Mr. Happy. Thank you, Mr. Tickle. Always happy to tickle. They must be going now. Mother honking turtles are very protective of their young. Who knows what she might do to us? Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> He's a total chicken who's terror-stricken, Mr. Nivus, <laughs> the reptile hunter of Dillydale. <laughs> The Dillydale Desert isn't such a bad place to be, if you're a lizard. But when you're Mr. Grumpy and your car has broken down, the hot desert can make you awfully tetchy. Then again, mm. what doesn't make Mr. Grumpy tetchy? Oh, great. No phone, no car in sight. Looks like I'm vulture breakfast. <laughs> oh, crooked cucumbers. Hello, Mr. Grumpy. Oh, Scatterbrain. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm taking Mustard, my iguana, to the Dillydale Reptile Show. Do you want to come along? You can ride in my rickshaw. Mustard would like the company. I'd sooner eat a cactus. Hmm. I might have a cactus for you. Let's see. A diamond tiara? A glockenspiel? The missing key on the glockenspiel? <laughs> nope. No cactus! A car! Maybe they can help. Oh, it's you, Miss Sunshine. It certainly is. I've been me all day. Do you need a lift? Oh, why not? Oh, Miss Sunshine! <laughs> Mustard and I are going to the Dillydale Reptile Show. So am I. I'm taking Pinky, my chameleon. Of course you are. Why don't you come along, Mr. Scatterbrain? The more the merrier. I hate Mary. And clunk lick every trip. Good thing I bought a car with seats in it. This thing's turning blue. Is it going to attack? Oh, no. That's what chameleons do, Mr. Grumpy. They turn colours and then they spit. Don't even think about it. Look, it's Mr. Lazy. And Nick Millen. It's tortoise. What are you doing? There's no more room in this car. Keep going. Drive on. Hello, Mr. Lazy. Why don't you two hop in? Oh, go hop somewhere else. There's no room in here. Am I glad to see you, Miss Sunshine. Macmillan wanted to walk to the reptile show, but it's hard to keep up with the tortoise. Oh. Clunk, click, every trip. Oh, reptiles give me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, don't be silly. They're just like you and me. Only they're hatched from eggs. <laughs> I think Macmillan likes you. Mm. I think he likes your hat, too. Mm. Stop the car! Is everything all right, Mr Grumpy? No, it is not, thank you very much. If I wanted to be this close to reptiles, I'd live in a swamp. You all go on to your little reptile show. I'll walk back to town from here. OK. Goodbye, Mr Grumpy. See ya! Oh! I had no idea there'd be 
so many reptiles at a reptile show. Ah, Mr. Grumpy! Don't ask. And his name is Martin. And so ends another reptile-filled day in Dillydale. Now you know just how much the Mr. Men and Little Misses care for these cold-blooded creatures. They don't let scaliness, slitheriness, or even sharp, pointy teeth get in the way of their affection. Unless, of course, those teeth are chomping on your bottom. Ah, oh, hats. It's not unusual to see Mr. Men or Little Misses wearing hats. They wear them to keep warm, as protection from the sun, or simply to be stylish. Fortunately, for those in need of a new hat, there is Miss Magic's hat shop. You asked me to come with you to buy a hat, Mr. Fussy. I really like shopping for hats. Oh, and mittens and hair ribbons. I heart hair ribbons. But hat shopping is fun too. I welcome your opinion, Miss Chatterbox. It is important that I pick just the right hat. <laughs> oh, hello, Miss Magic. I love it when you do that. I wish I were magic too. Hello. Welcome to Miss Magic's hat shop. I expect you're here for a hat. I certainly am, Miss Magic, but, um, where are all your hats? Well, I make a special hat for each customer. That way, it really shows off your personality. For example, mine has a red lining, because I like red. Oh! Oh, we like rabbits, too! Kind of goes with being magic. I wonder what it's like to be magic. Miss Magic, I would like a hat which is just like me. Neat, tidy, always on time, and charming. And, of course, no rabbits. Ooh, coming right up. Lickety split and lickety splat. Bring Mr. Fussy his own special hat. Ta da! Yee haw! Right up high, Mr. Fussy. You look quite the cowboy. Miss Magic, while it is a lovely and large hat, I'm afraid I'm not too comfortable with the cowboy look. Oh, <laughs> no problem. I've got another idea. Hippity gee and hippity gussy. Bring me a hat that suits Mr. Fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing? No, it's annoying. <laughs> this one is so you. It cleans, it tells the time, it's grand. Well, it's a grandfather clock. <laughs> yes, it's perfect. Please, Miss Magic, I just want a nice hat with a small brim and perhaps a jaunty feather. Oh, why didn't you say so? Sorry, see. Uh, what is a bird's nest doing on my head? Um, <coughs> Mr. Fussy, it's called fashion. It's totally you. <coughs> totally you. I just want a simple hat that flatters me. Oh, all right then. I can see I went too far with the feathers. Here you go. Sorry, see. <coughs> It's so perfect. I may weep with joy. <gasps> Thank you, Miss Magic. Sometimes my magic surprises even me. <laughs> and it's lined with magenta silk. And just look at the jaunty feather, Miss Chatterbox. <coughs> hmm? My 
you have an egg on your head. And it's magenta too, just like the inside of your hat. What a coincidence. Oh, wow, now you have two eggs on your head. That's funny. Well, maybe not ha-ha funny, but <gasps> now there's three. <laughs> okay, now that is ha-ha funny. <laughs> Whoop. Hey, what's with the eggs? I thought this was a hot show. On days like this, it's nice to go for a drive in a convertible. Provided, of course, you protect your head from the sun. Hello, Mr. Stubborn. Ooh, I like your hat, Mr. Nervous. Thank you, Miss Sunshine. Oh, the sun can give you hideous, horrible sunburn if you're not careful. That's why I brought a hat, too. Yes, good idea. Seatbelt on. I always insist on safety. Oh, Mr. Stubborn, I think your hat is too big. Don't be silly, Miss Sunshine. This hat is a perfect fit. How did that letterbox get there? Oh, it's always been there. You probably just didn't see it because your hat was in your eyes. This hat is not in my eyes. Um, Mr. Stubborn, I don't mean to pry, but can you see where you're going? Of course I can. What? Where is my hat? Oh, look! Pretty flowers! The wind must have taken my hat! Look on the bright side. Now you can see where you're going. And get sunburnt? I don't think so. Ah! Ah! Mr. Stubborn, look oh. out! Oh, why did I agree to come on this drive of doom? <laughs> no, 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 no! Wrong way! Hat too big! Mr. Nervous, why can't you be more like Miss Sunshine? You don't hear her complaining. Ah! Oh, no! Cows! Oh, I love cows! Love them, love them, love them! Dear Diary, I am staring into the eyes of a very angry bull. I don't know how this is going to end, but my guess is... Goodbye! Ah! Look what you made me do! This outing is over! Go away! Give me back that hat, you crafty duck! It's hat day over at Dillydale Supermarket which means that whoever wears the best hat has a chance at winning a prize. And Mr. Grumpy wants that prize. Good morning, Mr. Grumpy. I see you got up bright and early for hat day, too. Never too early for the chance to win that pipe organ. I hope my Viking hat wins. Don't fool yourself, Mr. Tiggle. When it comes to best hat contests, this baby can't be beat. What do you think you're doing, Mr. Rude? What does it look like? I am preparing to win that pipe organ. Dream on. Good tidings, fellow hat wearers. You're all wasting your time. This hat of mine is guaranteed to be the winner. I think you need a tickle. Do it and I'll pull your horns off. We'll take a tickle, won't we, Mr Nosey? Never turn down a tickle, Mr Small. <laughs> <laughs> Amateurs. Clearly, they do not want that pipe organ as much as us. Ha <laughs> ha. Clearly. You look like a giant parrot in that hat. And you look like a giant boar. Yes, well, this hat is going to win. No, this hat is going to win. Watch the feathers. No pushing in. I was here first. Hello to all you early birds who showed up for hat day. Or in this case, one early bird. Ha 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 ha! The early bird gets the pipe organ. Hand it over. One minute, Mr. Grumpy. I'm going to have to judge if your hat is indeed the best hat. It's not. Man is. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? I'm seeing hats, hats, hats. Don't bother, Mr. Happy. Just give me the prize. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful way to start the day, huh? <laughs> Bra 
Bravo, Mr. Grumpy! Now that huh? is truly a winning hat. What? No, this cockamamie hat isn't mine. Hey, that's my Viking hat. And those are my feathers. That may be, but they're on Mr. Grumpy's head, so I'm declaring him the winner! Oh, Kel Surprise. Mr. Nosey, since we're sporting such stylish hats, how about we stroll down the avenue? Right behind you, little friend. Here you go. One pipe organ. Would you like to say a few words? Yes, good boy. Oh, crooked cucumbers. If you two are going to sulk, we can share the prize. Yay! This calls for a tickle! No! <laughs> Watch it! You'll fight me again, you nincompoops! And so, at one time or another, almost everyone in Dillydale wears a hat. In fact, some Mr. Men and Little Misses wear more than one. And for those who don't wear a hat at all, it's never too late to start. Flip, tweet, dip, dot, which is another way of saying, ah, robots. What would we do without them? Robots do the jobs the good people of Dillydale don't want to do. Whether it's cleaning the house, fixing the car, or doing work in places that are much too dangerous for the Mr. Men and Little Misses. There's no end to the ways in which robots improve our lives. Just ask Mr. Grumpy, who's waiting for the robot of his mm. dreams. Special delivery from Mr. Ah, Grumpy! About time, Miss Chatterbox. Oh, I would have been here sooner, but that traffic light back there is broken. It turns green for a second, then turns red again. Just like that. Green, then red right away. Green, red, green, red. Spare me the sob story and just give me my robot. Here, sign this and it's all yours. This robot is going to change my life. <laughs> Goodness me, it sounds just like you. Only more like a robot than you. I like the sound of a robot's voice, don't you? That does not compute. <laughs> but I don't think I want a robot of my own. Well, this robot's going to do all my little jobs, like get my shopping and fetch my post. That way, I don't have to deal with any of you dodo birds. Let people annoy the robot while I enjoy some peace and quiet. Peace and quiet? Who'd want that? Besides, it's really hard to be quiet. I tried to stop talking once for about a minute. Actually, it was just a few seconds, but it felt more like... Shut up! Why are you crying? There are tears of joy. Now, look, I'm hungry. I need you to go and get me a bucket of bean burgers. Bucket of bean burgers coming up. Oh, this is the life. Oh, here are your bean burgers. Hey, what's Mr. Stubborn doing here? He came with the bean burgers. That's right. My bean burgers, not yours. Well, Scram, I don't want company. I just want a bean burger. You can have a bean burger, but you cannot tell me what to do. I am hmm. staying here. For noodles' sake. Fine. <laughs> Robot, I'm going to need some ketchup in my bean burger. This better be all you need. You're spoiling my good mood. Hey, I don't like your tone. I'll have that bean burger now. What do I look like? A hey, waiter, come over here and get it yourself. I am not moving. <laughs> Unhand me, you mechanical menace. Oh, here's your ketchup. Mr. Nervous. What's he doing here? 
I was in my kitchen, about to eat my eggs, when this maniac of metal burst through my door. I think he wants my ketchup. Not a bad idea. This ketchup is cheap. Fine, I'll get rid of the ketchup. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come out of there. Whenever you're frightened <sighs> and terror is near, sing this little song and sing away your fear. Hey, no singing. If I wanted music, I would have invited a band. Stop talking! I am trying to watch TV! Ah! Here's your band. What? No! No, that's not what I meant! Ah. Crooked cucumbers. So much for my peace and quiet. Crooked cucumbers. Crooked cucumbers. Crooked cucumbers. <laughs> Some Mr. Men and Little Misses buy their robots at the robot shop, while others prefer to build one of their own. Thanks for helping me with my robot, Miss Whoops. Glad to help, Miss Scary. After all, I'm pretty handy with tools. With that computer for a brain, I'll have the most terrifying robot in all of Dinny Dale. <laughs> Stop! I'm scared already. <laughs> You put in the brain. I'm going to make a foot. Okie dokie. <laughs> now what am I going to use for a brain? A toaster. That should work. Hello, gorgeous. He's going to totally terrify Mr. Rude. OK, robot, scare away. Out of my way, you robot! What is happening? Hey! That wasn't very scary! No, it was annoying. I do not want a toasted baguette! Oh, he was supposed to growl and show you his robot teeth! But he didn't. Instead, he ruined my bread. I demand that you replace this toast with a fresh baguette. Oh, never mind. I'll have Mr. Fussies. I beg your pardon? Oh, beg all you want. But you are not getting it back. Ooh. You have a lot of nerve. Something's not right with this robot. Indeed. My deliciously fresh loaf of bread has been reduced to common toast. I am most displeased. So am I. This robot was supposed to be a lot scarier. Did something happen to his computer brain about which you did not tell me? Uh, funny you should ask. You see, I was going to use the computer, but something happened. So I used the toaster instead. A toaster? What's so scary about a toaster? The Dilly Dale Baker's the place to get your whole wheat loaf for a white baguette. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Terrifying toasting torment. <laughs> One. I'll give you a good one. <laughs> Mr. Rude! Sweet Ever Strudel! You people wouldn't know a good scare if he bit you on the toe! Come on, Miss Whoops! Let's see if this big boy can make a waffle! Waffles? Wait for me! Dilly I'm Mr. Happy! And I'm Miss Sunshine! Today on Good Morning Dilly Dale, we're celebrating robots! Joining us from Miss Naughty's Robot Factory, please give a warm welcome to Mr. Metal! <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Metal! Thank you for having me. I have always wanted to be on television. Wow! You really are made of steel. A titanium alloy, Ooh. to be exact. May I now be host of show? Well, actually, you're the guest, which is almost as good. <laughs> <laughs> Negative. Host is much better. Uh, I'm afraid that job is taken. <gasps> it is? Yes, Miss Sunshine, you and I have the job. Oh, goody. Now, Mr. Metal, I understand you're going to do a little cooking for us today. 
Affirmative. Now I will make fruit salad. I do love fruit. Haha. <laughs> How about we get right to it? First, you need clean balls. Then, peel and chop fruit. I didn't know you could even peel a grape. Behold, fruit salad. You have quite a way with fruit. Let's hear it from Mr. Metal. Ooh. Now I can be host. I'm afraid not, but you've been a wonderful guest. Perhaps you can come back again some other day. Negative. Uh, Mr. Metal is host. I thought you said we had the job. Mr. Metal will now sing. Mr. Metal's here and he's gonna stay. Gonna host Good Morning Daily Tale every day. While I do love a good robot song, you really have to go. We do have the rest of the show to do. <laughs> you leave me no choice. I've always wanted to see my guests from this angle. Uh, when you shrink, does your happiness shrink too? So, Miss Sunshine, what brings you to Good Morning Dilly Dale? Um, the last I knew it was my job. Not anymore. Oh, no! Please welcome my next guest, Miss Naughty. Good work, Mr. Metal. I knew I built you for a reason. Now the show is mine! Negative. I am host. How can you do this to me? I created you! That's all the time we have for today. Join me again tomorrow when we'll compare computer chips on Good Morning Dilly Dale! And so, most of the time, robots are really quite useful. These mechanical wonders can do just about anything we can. In fact, there are some things they can do even better. Show. Everyone loves a party. That's why the good people of Dillydale have lots of them. Whether they be big celebrations with fancy decorations or a simple tea party with crustless sandwiches. One thing about parties is certain. The Mr. Men and Little Misses know how to have a good time. Down the street, there's another party going on at Mr. Messy's house. Come on, Mr. Fussy. We don't want to be late. I enjoy a party as much as the next person, but somehow a party at Mr. Messy's house sounds... Fun? No, filthy. <sighs> However, it is only polite to accept a neighbor's invitation. I will do my best to have a good time. You know what could make it a good time? Releasing a crate of chickens in Mr. Messy's house! Not only is that tastelessly naughty, it would be pointless. Mr. Messy would never notice chickens wandering about in this rubbish tip he calls a home. I'm going to go and get some anyway. Just in case the party's boring. Hey, Mr. Fussy! Glad you could make it! Come on in! Where are all the guests? Oh! Mr. Lazy is the only other person so far. Perhaps we should turn down this noise so we don't wake him. Doesn't feel much like a party without the music. 
but okay. Hey, come and see the food. Thank you. I'm quite fancying some nibbles. Suck cheese dip, and the crackers are over there. <laughs> no, thank you. Dip upsets my stomach. <laughs> How about a carrot? I only eat peeled vegetables. Peeled and washed. Shoot yourself. I'll just have some punch. The punch bowl's right there. This is actually quite tasty. Sweet smiling koi cup. Peaches are here. Mr. Messy, are you aware that there's a goldfish in your punch bowl? Oh, sure, that's Barry. I needed his bowl for the punch, so I just left him in there. But it's very unsanitary. Nah, don't worry. Barry's clean. He takes baths all day. Yes. Well, oh, look at the time. I must be going. You can't leave until you've taken a pop at the pinata. Really? I prefer not to participate. Go ahead. Oh. Whack it. Oh, very well. You're close, <laughs> Mr. Fuzzy. <laughs> oh. What's this? I didn't have any sweets, so I used blackberry jam instead. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. It's disco pillow fight time. Please, Mr. Messi, I am in no food. Now we're partying. <laughs> oh, stop it. That's it. I'm going home. Yay, more guests. <laughs> Shoo, get away. I am not your mother. Leave me be. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't help myself. <laughs> A pizza delivery person is always a welcome sight at a party in Dillydale, which should make Mr. Nervous very popular this evening. Mr. Nervous, are you at Mr. Tickle's party yet? Roger, Miss Helpful. I'm parallel parking right now. Excellent. They're waiting for their pizzas. I'll be there momentarily. Over and out. Also, I thought you would want to know that Mr. Tickle is having a fancy dress party, Mr. Nervous. Oh, well, just trying to be helpful. Over and out. Anybody home? Pizza delivery. Ahoy, oh. matey! Oh, 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 hideous, horrible pirates. Here, take the treasure. Just don't make me want the blank. <laughs> hey, thanks, Mr Nervous. Is that your costume? Oh, mustn't speak to pirates. Must run now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Nervous! Yes, whoo! <laughs> Ghastly, ghoulish ghost! <laughs> like my costume, Mr. Nervous. I'm an overgrown celery stick. <gasps> Menacing giant celery! <laughs> nowhere to run, nowhere to hide! <laughs> Dear Diary, I have wandered into a party of ghosts, pirates and vegetables. I fear my life may be in danger. <laughs> there you are, Mr Nervous. How much do I owe you for the pizzas? Would a tickle cover it? <laughs> Perilous party of pandemonium. <laughs> Mr Nervous needs a good long tickle. A garden party can be a wonderful event, and Miss Whoops has many delightful surprises in store. A great party, Miss Whoops. Thanks, Mr. Bamp. I'm a natural when it comes to parties. I was just admiring this ice sculpture. 
I carved it myself. Yeah, no, really? Oh, I am impressed. Give it a taste. It's strawberry flavoured. Oh, I don't know. That ice looks exceptionally cold. It's not that cold. Go on, try it. Strawberry is your favourite. It is indeed, Miss Whoops. Well, why not? Uh -oh. uh, uh, uh. Whoops! Maybe that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Are you telling me? <laughs> Time to bob for apples! Mm. Hmm. Now where did I leave my pet octopus? I think it was in that one. I'll use this one for the apples. What you do is try to get an apple in your mouth, like this. Who wants to try it? No. OK, I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> hey, slippery little apples, aren't they? Eh? Oh, there's my pet octopus. Time to bounce in the bouncy castle. <laughs> Who wants to go first? I think I'll pass. Go on. It's a party. Have fun. That's what I've been trying to do, Miss Whoops. Don't worry, Mr Bump. I'll be here to catch you if you bounce too much. Woohoo! You can never bounce too much. Well, OK. If you all think it's a good idea, then. Oh, we do. Go on in, Mr Bump. Hmm. Woo, woo! Hey, this is kind of fun! Why don't you go in too, Mr. Strong? Yeah, you don't need to ask me twice. Whoa. Ah, oh, pickles. Oh. Do I know how to throw a party or what? No matter what kind of time the Mr. Men and Little Misses have at a party, the fact is they're always ready for another one. Great costume, Mr. Fuzzy! Once they've had a chance to rest. 